What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some of the latest news surrounding Destiny 2, so let's get into it. Now you've probably heard this over a million times already, but if not, listen the heck up. Rumble is now surely making a return. According to text fan by Charles Report, you probably saw them if you do follow them on Twitter, which I will link within the video description, uh, they tweet that before the uh, Curse of Osiris DLC came out, that did fan text in the Curse of Osiris DLC update uh, for game modes such as Rumble, Elimination and Mayhem. Now Mayhem came with the dawning, but this tweet was put out before the dawning dropped, so there's definitely something behind the scenes going on. Rumble is a part of Destiny 2 at the moment and we just cannot access it. Now the 1.1.1 patch, I believe it was, Rumble became and showed up as an item within an API. What's interesting here though, is before it wasn't, there were just minor text on it. So within the API, Clash Control and every other game mode available to play show up as items. And now, so does Rumble. So I'm betting we might see a return of it maybe within the next event, which we'll talk about now. Crimson Doubles. Now Crimson Doubles we all know of from Destiny 1. It was basically a PvP game mode where two teams of two faced off against each other to earn kind of Valentine's themed loot. Chocolate gold shells, plenty of pink and red items and so forth. Now this hasn't been confirmed yet by Bungie, but it's pretty much a guarantee. Items within the Destiny 2 database confirm this. We see new exotic skins, which I'm guessing will be available from Eververse, which you can see on screen now. So who's to say these ain't from another event I hear you saying? But check out the item in the top corner of these exotic icons. Yes, that is a Crimson Doubles icon. Now with this, talking about Rumble and Elimination possibly returning, maybe they will come with this event, Crimson Elimination. So instead of Crimson Doubles, it would now be called Crimson Gambang. Who knows? But yeah, Crimson will return sooner or later, that's for sure. Now the exotics here, these obviously were planned to drop at Eververse. But with Bungie looking into Eververse, due to the recent uproar from the community, I'm looking forward to hearing their official statement, which I believe comes sometime this week. Actually, it could be later. But I have a feeling big changes are coming and will be announced soon. Well, let's hope so anyway. Enough people did speak out, did be constructive about it and respectful. Hopefully Bungie returns a favour and delivers on what we all want to see for this game. Now moving on, are you unemployed and looking for a job? But well, a job has come up at Bungie and it is for narrative lead of Bungie's live team. The job description, Bungie seeks a passionate and proven storyteller who can help build rich, accessible and compelling narrative content that will inspire players to continue their adventure in the world of destiny. The ideal candidate has a strong understanding of storytelling in an interactive medium and is comfortable delivering high quality content in a fast paced deployment environment alongside external partners. As a narrative lead for Bungie's live team, you will be responsible for overseeing the execution of narrative content for ongoing Destiny digital releases. You will work closely with the live team's narrative director as well as the release team's project and discipline leads to create a cohesive fiction told across the game's various story channels. You will work closely with external partners and their team members to deliver on that vision with a focus on collaboration with key stakeholders. This is a wonderful opportunity to work with talented teams to deliver compelling narratives in the Destiny universe. So what will be your responsibilities? Collaborate with the narrative director and project leads in a setting of high level narrative goals that support the game's pillars for assigned projects. Work with their narrative director to build long arc narratives and ensure ongoing story continuously across multiple releases that align with the defined franchise plan. Partner and collaborate with both cross-discipline teams and external third-party studios to drive the execution of narrative content in line with our release goals. Ensure the narrative team deliverables are completed in accordance with challenging deadlines and production realities. Establish and maintain high quality narrative standards through hands-on contribution of story content. Identify opportunities for innovation and improvement. Advocate for new processes in the execution of the storytelling experience. Directly manage internal narrative team members, project support, mentorship and career development. 
Promote an inspiring, creative, collaborative, and enjoyable work environment. Now, your required skills, minimum four years game development experience on shipped AAA games in a narrative-related role, excellent communication and demonstrated leadership skills, must be able to execute against firmly established narrative guidelines, solid understanding of game production, design tool systems and limitations, exceptional team player with the ability to collaborate with cross-discipline leads to support defined game pillars. Now nice to have skills, bachelor's degree or equivalent in communications, journalism, literature or other narrative intensive fields. So people, well I wouldn't send a Christmas card, does that mean I can apply? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> well if you feel they are looking for something you have, and you have the qualifications needed, why not take a chance, you just never know. Maybe you can help them sort out the mess of games in at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna move on. So according to Dumbfishes on Reddit, you can exploit Trials of Osiris and go flawless real easy, and it's done by using a VPN. He states the current Trials Crucible system that matches based on location is easily exploitable using a VPN. Basically sharing a VPN with your friends and clan members. Them clan members and friends are able to constantly match with their own if the group is big enough. He goes on to show proof this works also. Now this can be found on Reddit, but I am not going to link it because I don't want people using it and basically getting banned. Because if you want my advice, stay the heck clear of anything like this. I'm pretty certain if Bungie catch you doing this and basically boosting your way to the top, I'm pretty sure that bans will be handed out. So in my opinion, stay clear. But hey, the choice is yours and I can't stop you. But on that note guys, the news has ended for another day or so. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see See you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. We never get it right.